This is Dr. David Oster from Denver Vale Orthopedics and this is a presentation that I put together concerning ankle sprains and it will focus on the mechanism of injury or how they occur as well as the treatment and this was done in conjunction with Dennis Martin, Wes Riggs, physical therapist at Proactive Physical Therapy. Ankle sprains are the most common ankle injuries that occur in sporting activities. It is estimated that there are over 300,000 of these that occur per year. Now it usually occurs with a stopping injury. A person will be running down the field or a court and will try to stop and the foot will be planted and the ankle will roll in. Or it occurs with a jumping injury when someone lands wrong on the foot and this commonly can occur when a person lands on the opposing player's foot and the foot and ankle will turn in. This is shown in the following slide on the right hand side in which the ankle and the foot roll in and this will injure the lateral ligamentous structures of the ankle. Now there are three ligaments on the lateral aspect of the ankle and these are the ligaments that are commonly involved when somebody sprains their ankle. The three ligaments are the anterior talofibular ligament highlighted here in red, the calcaneofibular ligament highlighted in blue, and the posterior talofibular ligament that's highlighted in yellow. Now when a person injures their ankle again they'll land and the foot and ankle will turn in but it will also point down or plantar flex and as this occurs the first ligament that will be injured is the anterior talofibular ligament. As the foot starts to turn in further the calcaneal fibular ligament will become involved and tear and stretch and then lastly the posterior talofibular ligament will be involved as the ankle turns in even further. Most mild to moderate ankle sprains involve the anterior talofibular ligament and as the sprain becomes more severe it will involve the calcaneal fibular ligament and less commonly involve the posterior talofibular ligament. Uh, most ankle sprains occur with a stopping or a twisting injury and the ankle and foot will go into an inverted or a turned in position as Wes is showing you here. So you end up landing on the side of your foot. The other time it occurs is in basketball when you land on another player's foot. So the foot will invert and that puts stress on the lateral ligaments of the ankle. Okay. So there are three lateral ligaments of the ankle. The bone on the side of the ankle is called the fibula and it's the smaller bone that comprises the ankle. There's the tibia which is the large bone, there's the fibula which is on the outside of the uh, ankle, and then there's the talus bone which sits in the construct of the ankle itself. So the fibula has three major ligaments. It has the anterior talofibular ligament, the talus is this bone here, the fibula is this bone here, it has the um, calcaneal fibular ligament. Your calcaneus is your heel bone and it goes from the heel bone to the fibula and then there's the posterior talofibular ligament which is this ligament back along in this area here. So as your ankle plantar flexes goes down and inverts the first ligament that's injured is the anterior talofibular ligament. As you go into a further inverted position it's the calcaneal fibular ligament and then lastly it's the posterior um, talofibular ligament. Most ankle sprains that occur involve this ligament and then occasionally it will involve this ligament here. Very rarely will it involve the uh, posterior ligament. Most if not all ankle sprains can be treated non-surgically and there are various stages in the treatment of these sprains. The initial stage is to take care of the swelling and inflammation and it comprises rest, ice, compression and elevation. Following that the next modality is to work on range of motion and stretching and then lastly muscle control is initiated with strengthening and proprioception or balance. The following videos will illustrate some of these 
therapy modalities and techniques. So with a classic ankle sprain, usually you get to uh, uh, roll the ankle to the outside. The first 72 hours are critical to control swelling and inflammation. So what we like to implement is a cryokinetic program. And what that means is we use ice, elevation, and compression to control the early inflammatory phase that, that you'll experience. So what we like to do, you can use pillows at home or the arm of a couch, but elevate your ankle um, and ultimately just grab an ice bag. So you can use a plastic grocery sack uh, or whatever you have, get crushed ice and apply an ice bag to the ankle with the, with the ankle elevated. You can leave the ice bag on from anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes until the ankle uh, feels relatively numb. At that point, you remove the, the ice pack from the ankle in, in the thawing period. So for the next several minutes, we encourage elevation and range of motion. So a simple early one to do is what we call plantar flexion or dorsiflexion or uh, pushing down on a gas pedal and lifting off. So ankle pumps. And we always like to encourage that the patient moves the, the toes both into an extension phase and a flexion phase. So curl the toes and straighten the toes. And you can do that for a couple minutes in that uh, range. And you're going to want to stay relatively pain free, but it's all right to touch a, a gentle uh, amount of uh, pain or pressure at your end ranges just so that you start to acquire a range of motion. So for one to two minutes, ankle pumps. The next one you can do is gentle circles. So Wes is going to do circles uh, into a range that is relatively pain free. As he comes down into this phase here, he may experience some pain, so a patient needs to be a little careful as they come into this direction because that probably will be provocative. And he can reverse uh, ranges of motion as well. Again, we want to emphasize the toes to move throughout this range of motion. With this muscle action, it'll help flood, uh, flush some of that fluid out of the, out of the ankle. Another common one is just to spell the alphabet in capital letters. Again, emphasizing toe range of motion. And work through the alphabet two to three times. That should take two to three minutes. And, he, and the patient can complete uh, this sequence uh, long enough until the ankle feels almost room temperature again. After that, we encourage another ice pack in compression with the leg elevated for another 10 to 15 minutes. And that would be a, a, a cycle of, of this icing and thawing um, regimen that we would encourage two to three times a day at minimum. More is better. This video presented and discussed the mechanism of injury of ankle sprains and how they occur, and also discussed what ligaments are commonly injured when one sprains their ankle. It also reviewed the modalities that are used in the treatment of ankle sprains. This video reviewed the initial treatment phase, which includes ice, compression, rest, and elevation. The following videos will discuss the other modalities that are used in the treatment of ankle sprains. If you'd like to look at other text or video, please visit my website, davidostermd.com. For an office visit or an appointment, please call 303-214-4500.